So after that mishap yesterday, where the cable got wrapped around the chuck, one of the wires did get stripped, but not broken, and the other wire is fine. So, and it didn't trip the uh, safety switch. So I'm comfortable wrapping that back up with electrical tape. I bought a new drill bit, $69. Yep, and it fits my chuck. I was a bit, little bit worried because it's quite big, but it fits my chuck, so that's fine. Let me show you the old one as well. So you know how I explained that it went in, the first drive went in and then it dove down to the right. And then going from the other direction, it went in. Yeah, it did the same thing. It went in and then dove down to the right in the same place, more or less. I couldn't see any knots or anything in there, but there must be some density or something in that part of the wood. But anyway, the drill bit is permanently bent towards towards the tip where it went in and started to dive. It went in and dove so hard that the drill bit bent. So now I've got my patch in there and I've gone to finish my hole. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And there's an awful sneaking suspicion that I've got no control over the direction it's headed in. Thank you. Obviously it did drift up somewhat, but at least I came out the side, not the top. Hmm. I'd love to hear your comments in the comment section below. If you know how I can do this without drifting like that. Or is it just potluck? over that distance. Now, hang on a minute. Are you going to put that in before you do the other hole? I'm just testing. That's not even. Yeah. You want me to lift it up a bit? Will I lift it? Huh? No, no, no. One's thicker than the other. There, there. Okay, I think that's going in. leave that there to hold them straight and then drill the other one. All right, but take it out before we bring it upstairs because it's too heavy for to carry both things. And put it together upstairs, no? Well, no, because I want to sand it and finish it just one. Uh, but anyway, that's a while away. Okay. Let's say 605 mils to the middle of the bar. And this one is 600 and 
33. Just drifted off about 27, 27 mils offline and gone closer to the top of the table. And to the naked eye, that looks pretty wicked. Well, it's a whole inch offline. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It'll be underneath the table. The nuts will be inset into the wood in that pocket. I'm just trying to talk myself out of something here, but I should just get on with it, shouldn't I? rings are going to make it want to dive when I get there, theoretically. <sighs> so maybe do I keep it a little bit below horizontal? Oh, here goes nothing. Okay, that's the theory, that's the thing. Maybe I will keep it below horizontal as I start. And then if it goes wrong, it'll only come out the bottom, not the top. But if I'm right about growth rings, it might dive back into where it's supposed to be. <sighs> Who knows? Here goes. Quarter ways there. I uh, hope I'm doing the right thing. <sighs> Nearly there. Oh, I must be out. Be very close. That looks pretty spot on actually. So, what do I do? Do I keep going or do I come in from that way? Tell you what, I've got a straight edge and see if my two pockets are in line with that and to be honest by eye it looks pretty good well, now I would say any tunneler would be delighted with that alignment that's just about spot on 
to the center of each hole there, there and there. So I think I will come in from that end. And I think keeping it a bit below horizontal was a good idea. And this drill bit is working better than the previous one in so much as the chips are auguring out, not getting clogged up like the other one did. I can feel pockets that are softer to get through and then it hits something harder and takes a while longer to get onto the next thing. So I think that sits well with my growth rings theory. I've got a sneaking suspicion it's drifting down towards the face. So I think I might come in from the other end and try and join up. Now why couldn't it have been that easy yesterday? That is spotty dog. Ish. I can't complain really. I won't bore you with how difficult and tedious and frustrating those um, threaded rods were for a reason that took me by surprise it was my own fault I suppose I went to Bunnings I bought half inch threaded rod and got half inch nuts but turns out the thread pattern on the nuts weren't the same as the rod and I went back to Bonnings and they were the only half inch nuts they had. So I had to buy 12 mil rod instead and get 12 mil nuts, which worked beautifully. But it was a pain in the behind to get the old ones out and then put the new ones in. And that took me close on two hours not counting the drive to Bonnings. So I'm a bit over it at the minute. But they're in and they're tight. And that job is done. I've also sanded the back of it, back of the table, just roughly, to get some of the dirt and some of the roughness off it. I'm not going to do any more than that. There's a decent sized ridge there. And it swaps to the other side. And it isn't as bad along there. And then it swaps back. No, it doesn't. 
goes to about even there and then it comes back with a ridge here so I think the belt sander will just smooth them in guessing some of you are wondering why I didn't use a plane instead of a sander. Well I could have and maybe I should have and guess what maybe I will. <laughs> no, no I'm immediately regretting. <laughs> It's late in the day, I'm tired, back's aching, but I've got one more bit to do and I'll show you what I'm up to. I have made three legs for this table, I'm about to make the fourth one. I have to do it with my track saw and I have to cut four sides to get all the way through because my big drop saw, which would eat this up in one go, no problem. Keeps tripping fuses every time I pull the trigger. So I'll have to get an electrician to look at that. And what I'm doing is cutting the leg at the height I want and leaving this bit, which is 30 mils high in the center which I will cut a or a drill drill cut gouge a pocket in the underside of the table for that to drop into or for the table to drop onto that. I've marked it long, this one's long and that one's long because this piece of wood is the same thickness basically. This one is marked minus five because it's the same as the others except five mils shorter. And the one I'm about to make will be 10 mils shorter. That's because this piece of wood is five mils thicker at this end and 10 mils thicker at that end compared to the other board. I'll call it quits for tonight, I think. Do some video editing in front of the telly instead. Uh, so yeah, that's the progress I made today. Four legs ready. I sanded, sanded the table to the max I'm going to before the weekend. The center hump is barely visible in a lot of places. Like there you can hardly see it. So I'm quite pleased with that now. My patch is not too obvious. Um, yeah, so I will go have some dinner, edit a video. See you on the next one when the gang is here and the table is hopefully ready. That tape 
that type worked wonders in terms of keeping the wood from chipping with the saw. Very happy with that. So thanks for watching my saga this with this version of the table making give me a thumbs up would you please please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you like it and i'll see you on the next one oh look up look at my view uh -huh. that's the view out my window in the shed very clean windows, not